Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into nail art and acrylic extension. We will cover using loose glitter, creating flowers design and easy tips for French nail art. The key is simplicity for stunning results as you will see in the video. I recently did this stunning nail art on one of my clients and it turned out so beautifully that I just had to share it with you all guys. Get ready to learn and create some magic with me. Let's dive into our first step, trimming the nails. If any nails are too long, we will use nail trimmer to cut them down. We do this because trimming helps the acrylic stick better and look more natural when we apply it. It also helps prevent any access length from getting in the way during the application process. So by trimming our nails beforehand, we set the stage for a flawless acrylic extension that looks beautiful and lasts long. So let's grab those trimmers and get ready to trim those nails. Second step is to gently push back your cuticle using a cuticle pusher. This helps create a clean canvas for your nails without hurting your skin. Pushing back cuticle is important when doing acrylic extension because it helps create a smooth and clean surface for the acrylic to adhere to. This step also prevents the acrylic from lifting or peeling off prematurely. Plus, it gives your nails a more professional and polished look. Next, grab your cuticle cutter and cut the cuticles without hurting the skin. Now grab a nail buffer and gently roughen up the surface for your natural nails to remove shine and smoothness, ensuring better placement for the acrylic and tips. This means your extensions will stay on longer and look more natural. Overall, buffing your natural nails before applying acrylic extension ensures a better placement and longer lasting results, giving you beautiful and durable nails that you can flaunt with confidence. Now on to the sizing, nail tips come in various size from 0 to 9, so find the right fit for each nail. Once you have selected the perfect tip size, apply a small amount of nail glue onto the designated area of the tip. Hold it in place for a few seconds to let it adhere properly. Make sure to use a light touch when pushing back your cuticles to avoid any discomfort. And always double check the size of the nail tip before applying it onto the natural nails. When placing the fake tip onto the natural nail for acrylic extension, we only cover about half of the nail surface. This is done to ensure a more natural and comfortable fit. By applying the tip to just the half area of the nail, it blends seamlessly with your natural nail bed, creating a smoother transition between the fake tip and your real nail. Additionally, placing the tip onto the half surface allows a better balance and support for the acrylic extension. It distributes the weight of the acrylic evenly across your nail. Next up, it's time to trim down the tips to your desired length. If your client has specified length in mind, follow their preference. Otherwise, feel free to choose a length that suits you. Using a tip cutter, carefully trim the tips to ensure they all are even. This step is important to avoid any unevenness and ensure a polished look across all your nails. So take your time and cut each tip evenly to achieve the perfect length for your acrylic nails. Once you have got the length and size, it's time to shape the nails. I have already done the coffin shape. All it took was cutting the side walls and a quick buff, which only takes a couple of seconds. It's super easy to do. Let's get into applying the acrylic. First, dip your brush into the monomer to make it flexible. Then take a bead of acrylic using the two bead method, which I have explained in detail in my other videos. In this video, I have opted for two bead acrylic application. Place the bead near the cuticle without touching it. Then clean your brush and dip it back into the monomer. Start dapping that bead towards the edge of the nail, keeping the nail downwards. Once you are done with the first bead, move on to the second bead. Apply it near the apex area, covering both the apex and the edge. This way, the first bead covers the cuticle area and the apex, while the second bead covers the apex and the edge. It's easy. Dip your acrylic brush into the monomer to make it flexible. Then pick up a small bead of acrylic powder with your brush. Gently place the bead near the cuticle area of the nail. Be careful not to let it touch the skin. Wipe off any excess acrylic from your brush. Dip the brush back into the monomer to clean it. Use your brush to dab and shape the first bead towards the edge of the nail. Keep the nail downwards while doing this to help the acrylic flow smoothly.
Dip your brush into the monomer again to make it flexible. Then pick up another bead of acrylic powder with your brush. Apply the second bead near the apex area of the nail. This bead will cover the both apex and the edge of the nail. Use your brush to blend and smooth out the acrylic, ensuring a seamless transition from the natural nail to the extension. If needed, repeat the process with additional beads to build up the desired thickness and the shape of the extension. That's it. With the two bead method, you can easily create beautiful and durable acrylic extensions. After completing one hand, repeat the same process onto the other hand. Remember, practice makes perfect in nail extension application. Focus on understanding how to pick up the beads, place it correctly, dab it smoothly and blend it seamlessly. It's important that both bead 1 and bead 2 are merged evenly to create a uniform look. The goal is to make it appear as if the entire nail was formed from a single bead, ensuring an even surface and consistent thickness throughout. Avoid any unevenness or inconsistency in thickness. Take your time and don't rush the process. Keep your workspace clean and organized for better precision. Practice good brush control to achieve smooth application. Most importantly, be patient with yourself and enjoy the learning journey. After applying the acrylic, we need to make sure it's nice and even. So gently buff the surface to remove any excess acrylic and ensure a smooth uniform look. Now that we have completed the nail creation process, get ready for the next video where we will dive into the nail art part 2. If you learn something from this video, don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel. Stay tuned for second part and stay updated about all my new videos. Thank you for watching and for your continued support. Keep shining.